Well, hello, what's up everybody? It's been too long. I wanted to make a quick kind of update slash announcement video um, just kind of going over what's been going on with me and, and future plans for the channel. What started as a month of going on a couple of trips and then coming back from those trips and then getting sick and then getting better and then getting sick again. Um, it's been a whirlwind like six, last six weeks and uh, just over the last six weeks I've done a lot of thinking on what I want to do with the channel and just kind of how I feel about EDM currently. I'm going to try to make this concise and address a couple of different things. I guess the first thing I just want to talk about is I feel like EDM and the electronic music scene in general has kind of hit a point where it's feeling a little bit stale as a whole which um, you know if you're big into music theory or have you know paid attention to music throughout your life which I imagine many of you have music is kind of subject to go through those phases and stages where there's like a lot of growth and a lot of innovation and then it kind of hits a point where it falls off I don't I'm not up here saying that I think EDM is dead and I don't think it's going away I just feel like we're in this kind of stale patch um, and I'm hoping that there's going to be some kind of subgenre or, you know, some of these artists that are pushing the envelope find a, find a way to, you know, create and ultimately just bring more of a, like, a refreshing sound. You know, like artisans like, <clears throat> you know, artists like uh, Fox Stevenson is one that I, I really uh, love what he's doing. It's extremely unique. Um, Inzo is another one. Roman Silver. Um, people that just are not, you know, playing by the rules. Um, you know, when it comes to EDM, I feel like there are two types of artists. You have artists that are like innovating and pushing the envelope and, you know, kind of experimenting with new sounds. And then you have artists that are imitating other artists. And I feel like, you know, without naming names, it's pretty straightforward and easy to notice. And for me, I just feel like I've gotten rather... I've just gotten rather bored with a lot of, of what I'm hearing lately and I think part of that is just the way uh, you know I approach the YouTube channel currently and like what it's become you know like listening to music for me um, was always kind of an escape and something I enjoyed and doing these reaction videos has turned it from like an enjoyable experience to almost feeling like a chore um, which I know might be hard to believe you know for some of you but you know being on the, on the other side of the camera um, it, you know, standing in front of the wall, it almost feels performative at times. You know, like if there's a week where I'm just like not feeling it, it's just something that's kind of burnt out my um, love of, of EDM, and that's not something I really want to lose. Um, so, what does this mean for the channel? I'm definitely uh, not somebody to throw in the towel. Like, I don't want to just stop making videos. Uh, but I also don't want to continue doing a weekly reaction series uh, for multiple reasons. Like I said, one being just kind of burnt out to the amount of time it takes. Um, so I had an editor, um, you know, through the whole journey with Sidewalk Talk, having an editor and then going back to doing my own thing. Um, my editor currently isn't available to help me. And in terms of uh, the time it takes to, to film and then edit these videos, um, it's just time I don't have. It's time I used to have, but um, with you know the way my career is going and like there's a lot of life changes I'm looking to make in the next three to six months here um, I just don't have the time to do a weekly video um, that being said like I said I don't, I don't want to stop making videos so probably will maybe make a transition into doing um, album reviews here and there um, more of a verbal review I might have like little clips of me doing a reaction in there but not not the whole ordeal for a long time I've wanted to do kind of like a subgenre series and break down you know all the different subgenres in EDM I think that would be um, a really helpful and interesting and fun and triggering video for um, certain people but it's just something I'm gonna have to measure on you know how much time I have but um, didn't want to keep you guys in the dark I know it's been probably like six weeks since I posted I think and uh, I just hate not having the consistency on the channel so I just kind of wanted to update you guys I'm gonna post things when I can like I said I just don't have the time for a weekly video right now and I don't really think the weekly reaction series is what I want to do going forward uh, that being said, I just want to thank everybody for following the channel and supporting the channel this far. Uh, definitely not a goodbye, just kind of a change in the way I'm going to be doing things. I appreciate you guys staying patient and 
I hope you guys will continue to tune in and you know leave your thoughts on the videos but yeah let me know what you guys think I'm trying to hopefully this video is concise enough and I covered the things I wanted to say but yeah I just kind of wanted to get back to that natural discovery of music I miss just kind of being able to listen to something by myself and you know kind of just be you know in awe about it and then wanting to talk about it um, that's you know really what got me doing this um, so it's kind of come full circle to where I just kind of miss that um, but like I said definitely not stopping the channel just bear with me we might might uh, have a change in um, you know the types of videos I'm doing it's definitely gonna be EDM related but um, yeah thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon thanks